When you're trying to get to the heart of what your students know, a multiple choice test may not always be the best way to determine that. And one solution is to have your students record what they know through a screencast. And we have the tool that can help make all of this work, and we're going to show you how it does on this week's episode of PDL Techniques. Screencasting is a recording of your screen. You can capture the movements that you make, you can capture your voice with it. It's a great option to use with recording lessons for students to go back and revisit or students are absent. You can use it to record directions for a learning station. You can even use it for student assessment. There's lots of great options that you can use for your screencasting, but the one great tool that you can use to make all of this work is Screencastify. This is a free tool that is available in the Chrome Web Store. You can use this for students or for teachers to create their own videos um, and share them with others and use them however they, they see fit. So all of it to, to access the uh, Screencastify extension, like I said before, all you have to do is start by going to the Chrome Web Store. Once you have installed Screencastify from the Google Store, you're going to find the icon right up here. It'll be the orange arrow with the video camera in it. You're going to click on that. You can create an account using your Google credentials. And then once you open this up, here's your menu. The biggest things to pay attention to are the microphone. If this is orange, then that means that it's on. And you can also see your sound meter over here to make sure that it's working. And if you choose to embed a webcam, in other words, if you want a video of yourself in the corner of your screen narrating your video, then you can turn that on as well. So, but it's not necessary. You'll notice this is the light version. The biggest difference I've noticed between the light version and the paid version is that it does limit the number of videos you can create per month. And it also doesn't give you access to the cropping tools and the editing tools. But generally I found the light version is enough to meet my needs as a teacher and also my students' needs. So when you're ready to record, I like to make sure that it's on desktop and then I tap the record button. This window will pop up and it again lets me decide if I want to record the entire screen or just the application window. In this case, it would be my browser tabs. I like to keep it to my entire screen. Three, and when I click on share, two, one. it gives me the countdown. And then I also have the thing down here, the dialog box telling me that it is recording. And you'll notice this toolbar over here. You see the timer, which I can toggle on and off. There's a pause button, so if I want to pause my recording and adjust the screen, maybe change out my tab or something like that, I can, I can do that. There's also a markup tool where I can choose a color, I can mark on my screen, hit play, keep talking about it, I can pause it, I can erase whatever I've done, I can also do this while I'm live recording. Once I am done, I can either hit a stop button over here or I can click on stop sharing. And this tab will pop up and it automatically previews the video that I've just created. You'll see that it automatically uploads to Google Drive. I can copy the link and share it with my students. I can share it with families, whoever the audience is for my screencast. I can easily just get that link and send it out in whatever way is best for me. One of the really nice things that I think is helpful with Screencastify is that Google Drive integration that it stores directly in there, but it also gives you the option to store your video in a YouTube channel. You can click the share button up at the top, click YouTube, and then choose a channel where you want to store your Screencastify video. And also, like we mentioned earlier, this is a great tool for student assessment. Check out this example from a fifth grader who's explaining how to solve a multi-step multiplication problem that she wrote herself. Hello, my name is Hayden, and today I would like to show you how to solve the problem Lots of Leaves. First, I will tell you the problem. Lots of Leaves. There was a very large family of bats with 211 family members. One day, two children named Hayden and Eliza were raking the leaves in front of their large family's cave. Screencasting is a great way to make your instruction more portable and more accessible. Your students can watch your screencast anywhere they have an internet connection. They can pause, they can rewatch parts when they need clarification. Agreed. 
It basically puts the students in the driver's seat of their learning. Well, that's going to do it for this week's episode. Make sure you check us out next week for another edition of PDL Techniques.